Terry Blackton. Um, well, gosh, that story's hard to follow. I have to think quite as that. But um, so um, my story, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, well, I guess I'll just say really how I got involved in nutrition and where my passion for it came from. I think um, I have a friend from middle school that still to this day claims that in seventh grade science class I said to her, my body needs vitamin E, I must eat some almonds. And she looked at me like I was nuts in my head. And she swears, 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 swears that I said this. So I think I was reading about all this way back then. Um, I was a gymnast, so I was a little in tune with food and body at the time. But anyway, um, I, I don't really remember that. But I guess I was interested way back then. But I think um, I became more and more interested in nutrition as um, throughout High school and college, I was an athlete in high school and I played two sports in college as well. So I think one of everybody, obviously, a lot, a lot of people we all know from the day in the freshman 15, I was never extremely overweight. I was, but let's say, freshman year, I gained that 15 pounds or so. Um, and throughout college, you know, sort of struggled with that a little bit, but it was never really, a, it wasn't a huge, it was, it was more of a health issue for me. It was, I always thought um, to myself, you know, it was very, strange how everybody that I played sports with was usually overweight or somewhat overweight or absolutely ate horribly and you know drank a lot of beer and ate a lot of pizza and just drew, ate horribly or, and or was overweight and most people and all of my friends that I lived with smoked cigarettes and drank Diet Coke and were you know very skinny so I used to look great in their jeans to go out on Saturday night and I used to say I'm like this is how like I I don't want to be either one of those things I want to you know fit into my skinny jeans but I want to I have to be able to perform on the athletic field so I became more and more interested in uh, really being able to fuel yourself to be the best you whatever that would how whatever your shape and size should be um, and really to be you know to to do whatever you do best. And for me at that point it was athletics, but it's whether it's you know to have energy to work and now for me it's to be able to work and have energy for my children and to really be the healthiest fit you. So that's sort of where my interest in nutrition came from. And um, I actually was working at Sports Illustrated was my first job out of college. And at that point I was also interested in sports marketing. So I'd always had the business, I'd always, I'd always had definitely the entrepreneurial or the business side to me. So I was working there, and it, at the time, it was, um, that was obviously it is owned by Time Inc. And that was when they gave away all free magazines. I don't think they do that anymore. But when they gave to anybody that worked there, so I used to sit there and instead of doing my work, I would read Health Magazine. And I said, you know, what am I doing here? I'm, you know, I'm, this is fun, but I'm really passionate about nutrition, and I'm spending all my time reading health. Let me let me go back and you know take a closer look at this. So I took one class at NYU. And I ended up quitting my job and going back and doing that. And, and I had a series of jobs, which I won't bore you with, while I was at NYU. And um, that's, I ended up getting my master's. And since then, I started a private practice. I had a book come out last spring called The Snack Factor Diet. I have my healthy snack bar that I've mentioned. I also actually this week just launched a skincare line um, called Skin Appetit, um, which has eight whole food extracts. So it's again, goes along with the whole concept of just everything. It's, it's not just its weight, but it's also it's about really being the best you, what's eating foods for your skin, it's just as important as eating foods to fuel your body for a healthy heart, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, that's my story in a nutshell. <laughs>